Welcome to this men's fragrance channel. Today I'm comparing Stronger With You absolutely, intensely sorry, and Stronger With You absolutely, very similar names, but I'm going to compare them for you because one of you asked me and I thought I'll do a little comparison so you can find the best fragrance for you and you can make the purchase that is best suited towards your lifestyle. I absolutely love the scent. These two consistently make my top lists, especially for dating situations or for winter situations. So I would say this, those two are definitely gourmand scents. What do I mean by gourmand? I mean edible scents that you want to just eat. These are sexy edible goodnesses for men. And absolutely, I would say it's much more hard to get. This is a scent that you'll have to do some work to find. I'll try to find it for you, but intensely it's much more of a easily findable scent. That is the first difference between these two. So is it worth spending that extra time to try and find the absolutely version i would argue in my opinion yes although both of them are great i'll give you a little bit of a rundown what do i think the differences smell wise are for me personally I've got them sprayed also here on these cups so i'll take the caps first of course i've worn them and my husband has worn them so i know how they smell like but just to just my memory oh, the first sniff, they're quite similar. They're very, very similar. But the differences to me are that the Absolutely version smells a bit more balsamic, a bit more aggressive. I know it's a difficult, maybe it's not the right word to use as a fragrance, but you know what I mean. It is a fragrance that it is a bit more present, a bit more aggressive in that sense that somebody aggressively wants my attention. And uh, that is the feeling that I get with Absolutely. Whereas with Intensely, it's a bit more calmer. It's a bit more sure of itself even in a different way. It's confident, but in a quieter way, although they both project quite a lot. This is much more of a calmer character of a guy. For example, Intensely, I would say this scent is perfect for if you're going away with somebody um, and you're going to like sit by a fire and you're going to like have good time and deep talks with some wine and stuff. This is that sort of a perfect scent if you're just like hanging out with your loved ones. This is perfect for it. Whereas this fragrance, absolutely, I see it on somebody who's going out out or who's out to like assert his confidence. This is a fragrance that you would eat, um, wear if you're meeting up with your ex and you want to be like, oh my gosh, uh, he's smelling great, you know. This is that sort of, it's got a different mood to this fragrance, whereas Intensely is a bit more calm, a bit more romantic, I would say. Stronger Review Intensely smells, smells a bit more nutty to me. That chestnut is very nice in there, whereas Stronger Review Absolutely, it's got a similar, very warm vanilla vibe, but this is much of a toffee note. It's caramelized, it's smooth, it's even more edible than Intensely. Also, I would say I would describe Intensely as a lighter fragrance, although it's still quite dense. This is a lighter fragrance compared to Absolutely. To me, I smell absolutely much more. On my husband, for example, this is a fragrance that really projects you can be outside in very cold weather and this will still like you'll be able to smell uh, yourself and others will be able to smell you for meters behind you when you wear it whereas this still has got a very good sillage so scent throw but it's not as strong as absolutely this one in terms of performance is just much better in my opinion and longevity on both of these is very good it's a solid you know eight nine I even sometimes smell this like 11 hours after so it's very very good I recommend both of them both of them are stunning fragrances very sexy very attractive I personally prefer this one just a tad because I think this sort of a scent you can find in a lot of 
designers. Uh, it's a scent that it's so, so good in terms of like compliments that you'll get. But this one is just a bit more intriguing because it's got that balsamic note in there that really makes it stand out. So you might even get compliments for it just because it's that bit different. Whereas this one, you'll get compliments for it, but like, you know, somebody else could smell quite similar with a different fragrance, but it's still good nonetheless. So I'd say this one is a bit high on my sexy list, but this one is just very close. So if you can't find absolutely, get this one because it's very, very good still. It's, I would still say it's 10 out of 10 of a fragrance. This one is pushing it. This one is maybe 10.5, 11 out of 10 sort of a scent because it just doesn't fit on the scale. It's so, so good. Age-wise, I would say anybody can pretty much pull them both off. They're very universal age-wise to me. I would say for dates, intensely is better. Whereas for maybe going out or just if you want to project that confidence, this one is better. Or just, yeah, when you are just outside and you need to be really, really smelled, then this is your best bet. Let me know which one do you guys like down in the comments more. And I'd love for you guys to subscribe to get more fragrance recommendations. I'll find you uh, absolutely the best I can in every country down below. So hopefully you can get it. And also I'll put intensely in that as well and the best deals that I can find for them. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.